Time Machine is actually one of the most deceptive boards within the surf line because it is actually one of the fastest, but it doesn't look that way on the shelf. Um, we're able to accomplish that by a few key features in the shape of the board and some cool features uh, actually in the construction of the board. On the top of the board, you'll notice a full cork top. This is the only board in the Hyperlite line that features that cork top. Uh, the cool part about cork, unlike EVA, is it actually gets grippier the more you use it. So it's an organic material. The more you surf on it, the more your feet kind of dig into the deck of the board, it will become grippier and grippier over time, unlike EVA that can actually wear out. We did put a rear uh, traction pad just so you can kind of spot your back foot so you have a nice kick tail and arch bar uh, featured on the rear of the board. We moved to the rail of the board. It's kind of a hybrid between a sharper rail uh, and a rounded rail. So while it does sit a little higher in the water, it's got a nice bevel to it to transition to a flowy surf style of feel as well. The base of the board, you'll notice a nice dual concave at the tip, which transitions into a more flat platform and then a dual channel out the tail. What this all translates into is just a very efficient planing surface, which generates a ton of speed down the line. Uh, like I said, this is one of our fastest boards within the Hyperlite line. So if you like lagging far behind, catching up behind the boat, uh, generating a lot of speed to air out, the Time Machine is a great choice. It does have a quad fin design, so you have the two larger surf style fins at the front with the smaller drop style fins at the trailer. Uh, if you want a little more added bite for turns and things, running those trailer fins is a great option, but if you're just looking for pure speed down the line with a flowy feel, uh, you can pull those off. Moving to the profile of the board, you'll notice that we squared off both tip and tail. That just lends itself to a board that rides a really good switch as well. Um, the Time Machine is also full Duracell construction, so you have all that high-end EPS fiberglass construction internally with a much more durable package to it. Really lightweight construction. So there you have it. That's the Time Machine. If you're a hard charger looking to drive a ton of speed down the line, this is the choice for you.